Hello, hello there, dear viewers. I'm Chornas. Welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you amazing and beautiful wooden and glass display cabinet design ideas for your inspiration. This video contains a collection of beautiful, amazing wooden and glass display cabinet design ideas, which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design among the list and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Antique display cabinets, also known as antique china cabinet, is a type of cupboard with glazed paneled doors used to display choice pieces of ornaments and valuable fine china. They originated from the 18th century bookcases and they were similar in form, but as it became fashionable to display your fine objects and decorative china, in the 19th century, the traditional display cabinet became a piece of furniture on its own. Earlier, earlier 18th century Gregorian examples were built in figured walnut veneer but are quite rare, so sought after by collectors. 19th century Victorian and Edwardian display cabinets were often in woods such as mahogany and oak and became more common as most homes would have one. These beautiful pieces of furniture from this period have more decoration like fine exotic inlays or brass embellishments. Many earlier influences were used in their construction and design like Sheraton and Chippendale. Some Victorian display cabinets have a mirrored back to reflect light into the room and make decorative objects stand out more. This is when the main form of lighting was candlelight. The antique display cabinet is a very fine, delicate looking item of furniture but built to the highest of standards with interiors quite often lined in wonderful blue or red velvet materials. Cabinet in furniture design Originally a small room for displaying precious objects and later a piece of furniture composed of a network of small drawers commonly enclosed by a pair of doors. Cabinets were first used in Italy during the late Renaissance. In many parts of Europe, cabinets became the most sumptuous pieces of furniture with great displays of marquetry, carving inlay and gilding. Some cabinets were placed on stands, others on chests. Themselves object of art, cabinets were popular for storing collections of china, coins, shells and curiosities. By the early 16th century, cabinets were used in France and England. The French style was based on architectural lines 
often executed in walnut and sometimes elaborately decorated with bars, reliefs, ivory or mosaics. The earliest English examples, small and mounted on stands, were plentiful among wealthy by the 17th century. After the restoration of 1660, cabinets were used as decorative objects and their embellishments included walnut veneers, floral marquetry, needlework, and Japanese or oriental style lacquer work. A symmetrical arrangement of drawers surrounded a small central cupboard in which it was common to find a temple-like structure with columns backed by mirrors that increased the appearance perspective. Many Chinese and Japanese lacquer cabinets were imported into England during Charles II's reign and were mounted on exuberantly covered stands that were gilded or silvered. In the 18th century and later, many cabinets were fitted with glass shelves to display China. Inlaid cabinets were a specialty of Antwerp and southern Germany in the mid-17th century. Out of the most famous was a Wrangler Shank taken as booty in the Thirty Years' War by the Swedish court Carl Gustav Wrangel, Made in Augsburg in 1566, it was decorated with boxwood carvings and outstanding pictorial marquetry. Display case. A display case, also called showcase, display cabinet, or vitrine, is a cabinet with one or often more transparent tempered glass or plastic, normally acrylic for strings, surfaces used to display objects for viewing. A display case may appear in an exhibition, museum, retail store, restaurant, or house. Often labels are included with the displayed objects, providing information such as description or prices. In a museum, the displayed cultural artifacts are normally part of the museum's collection or are part of a temporary exhibition. In retail or a restaurant, the items are normally being offered for sale. A trophy case, a trophy case is used to display sport trophies or other awards. A display may be freestanding on the floor or built in, usually a custom installation. Built in displays may be mounted on the wall, may act as room partitions or may be hung from the ceiling. On occasion, display cases are built into the floor, such as at the Museum of Sydney in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, where the remains of drains and privacies are shown in their original context along with other archaeological artifacts. There are three types of freestanding showcases counter, middle, floor, mid-floor, and wall. Counter showcases are designed to display objects through one side, the customer's side, and have them accessible through the other, or the clerk's side. For this reason, the counter display are most relevant for retail stores. The middle floor cases are built to display objects from all sides and are meant to be placed in the middle of the room. Wall showcases are meant to be placed against a wall. 
where the products are displayed and accessed from the same site. These last two types are used heavily not only by stores but also by museums, schools and especially in homes to showcase valuable items or collections. Display cases are typically made by specialist companies with a background in woodworking or welding and come in standard sizes or often are custom order. Display cases are often designed with security in mind and are normally lockable. They also are made in a variety of styles, shapes and materials as available at a store fixture supplier. Conservation grade cases are used to display valuable artifacts in museums, libraries and archives. These cases are designed to provide a tightly controlled environment free from chemical pollutants. Regarding construction materials, display cabinets can be made from different types of wood and glass material. MDF is also being widely used as the construction material due to its fine finish and uh, due to its quality to absorb different paint schemes and easy and cheap workmanship and cheap prices. Other solid wood materials are also widely used. The other material widely used is glass. Transparent glass is used for the front whereas uh, viewing mirrors are la layered inside the display cabinet to give it a very attractive look. As you can see these designs we have included several design items several types different sizes there are single door options two door options three door options there are display cabinets which will be put at the corner in the middle of the wall and so on. there are different varieties different color schemes and different architectural designs. Some of them have drawers, some of them they don't have drawers. Some of them have glasses running the whole length of the display cabinet, while some of them they have half lengths covered with glass. So there are no limits to the design potential. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to the modern display cabinet and their design potential. They could be made budget friendly or they could be made highly expensive based on the design and based on the materials used.
as you can see in the video we have compiled a number of display cabinet design ideas for your inspiration if you like such content please consider subscribing to our channel as you know by now our channel is full of these different design ideas woodworking design ideas metalworking design ideas home craft design ideas so you will benefit a lot by subscribing to our channel and also hit that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos and you can easily get new inspirations for your future projects thank you for watching until the end we look forward to seeing you in our next video until then stay safe and stay blessed thank you